Ooh, is it? Please, please just stay. Please stay connected. Please stay connected. Oh my God. Oh my God, I hope it stays. <laughs> Please just stay connected. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. We might be a little bit late, but I mean, there's nowhere else anybody needs to be right now. <laughs> if you have to leave early, by all means, but it's still gonna be a 55 minute class. Oh my God, please still work. I'm gonna give it like another eh, couple minutes as long as it's working. Mm. I love technology. It was about to turn into, let's watch Megan have a mental breakdown live. So let's just see that. Is it still working? Oh, okay, perfect. All right, so we're not starting at five, we're starting at 540, but at least in the end we're here, we're gonna have a nice good sweat and everyone's gonna feel a little bit better and that didn't turn into, let's watch me have a live mental breakdown. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, you're gonna need, um, maybe if you need it, one chair that you feel comfortable stepping on and like it supports your weight and it's nice and balanced. I don't want anybody falling at home getting injured. We're gonna use it for a few step ups, some tricep dips. And then the only other thing we're gonna need is a mat. If you have a small resistance band, great, but you don't need one. So I'll give it another minute or two, allow people to come in since the timing's a little bit off. And just make sure you guys can hear me. Let me know if the music is too loud or if it's not loud enough and you want it a little bit more. We can always do that. And some water and then something that you find you can do a little bit slippery. So maybe something like a sock. All right. Give it. Let's say we'll start at 5.45. That sounds like a normal class time. It'll give the people a chance to come in who are able to come in that we're supposed to start at 5. Hopefully, everyone's able to like just stay the point of the class. And if you have to leave early, my bad, guys. Yeah, we're going to save it. Don't worry. I'm sorry that we had some technical difficulties, but I'll make sure to save it so you can do this workout whenever, wherever you need. <laughs> but... Other than that, you guys, we got 50 minutes just to sweat, feel good, and then hopefully feel a little bit better than when we started this workout. So like I said, you're gonna want a mat, something you can place your hands down the ground, a chair that you can step on, and then maybe something that's a little bit slippery. But we'll get nice and warmed up if you have any injuries, modify as necessary. I can't see you to see if you have any injuries, but you guys know who you are. Three more minutes and we'll get started just to give the people a chance uh, to know that things are alive and we're finally are connected. Let me know if you guys can hear the music, if you want it a little bit louder or more quiet. And if you could hear me, because I'm going to be standing a little bit further behind. Let's see if I can get into the screen too. So I'm not going to hit this. Okay, perfect. Last time I taught class, I might have jumped right into my lampshade. Hey guys. Ooh, finally it's connected. Oh, thank goodness. Honestly, like I said, it was about to turn into a watch me have a live mental breakdown. All right. Two more minutes, we'll get started just to make sure people who wanted to join in at five can see that there's a live stream going on because it is, you know, just a little bit late, but now we're nice and connected. Ooh, technical difficulties, but I mean, if we're quarantined and self-isolated, where else do we really need to be right now? We still got an hour just to kind of sweat it out, feel a little bit better. Like I keep mentioning, have some water handy, maybe a mat, a chair that you can stand on. Knowing that these are all just options, I'm gonna provide you as many modifications as I can as we go along. So do what feels best for your body. <gasps> hey, Lorraine. 
<laughs> it's so funny. All right, you guys, one more minute. We'll get started with a nice, easy cardio warm up. We'll slow down, we'll stretch. So we'll still just kind of warm up as people trickle in. Again, sorry about the delay and the technical difficulties, but we are here and everything else is good. We've got our health, we're safe inside. So, you know, things are good. Again, let me know if you can't hear me or if the music, hey, Crystal, let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet and if you can hear me when I'm standing over there. But we got this, guys. We're just gonna sweat a little bit, feel a little bit better. Let's get those endorphins nice and high, especially if we have been sitting. Oh, I know, I miss you too. I'm so happy to see you guys. But you know, this is as much human interact I've had in weeks, so. I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit, but let me know if it's too loud. I'm gonna move my chair out of frame, but I will get it again later. All right, so let's start off with a nice, gentle cardio warm up to get everything moving, making sure we're feeling good before we just start getting things too intense. Take breaks whenever you need to, grab water whenever you need it, and then again, let me know if you can't hear me. So before we start moving or doing anything crazy, let's just start off with a few nice big shoulder rolls. Rolling those shoulders down and back, get the shoulders moving, especially for doing this kind of position all day and sitting. Let's open up to the front of the chest. Now everybody's gonna feel a little bit different, so let's just see how we're feeling today. And then let's make those circles nice and big in the opposite direction. So that we're rolling the shoulders forward. And breathe, most importantly, and let's that's feeling a little bit better, we're gonna take the arms nice and wide. Feel like you're drawing small circles on either side of the room, and then get those circles a little bit bigger and bigger. I gotta watch out for this lampshade. I jumped right into it last live stream. <laughs> So make those circles as big as you can, as long as it feels comfortable. And then we're gonna reverse those circles nice and big, and then gradually get those circles a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller over time until you're back at shoulder height. And then from here, we're gonna take those hands behind the back, interlock the fingers so we can squeeze the tips of the shoulder blades together. And then go lifting up the chest, get a nice open to the front of the chest. Take a deep inhale and exhale there. And then we're gonna come back to standing. Let your head hang heavy, and then just roll right ear to right shoulder. Just a gentle neck stretch. I can only assume a lot of you guys have been sitting at home at a desk having to work from home. So let's make sure we stretch out the upper body. And then we're gonna roll through center all the way over to the opposite side. Then you feel like you're reaching down with more that opposite hand to get a nice stretch. And then we're gonna come all the way back to center, soften through the knees. We can fold in the hips, let the head be heavy. Reach the knuckles up towards the ceiling, give that head a nice shake out, yes and no. Feel like you're releasing all the tension that's hiding between the shoulders, the neck, the back. And then let those hands find the floor. You're gonna heel toe the feet nice and wide. You're gonna bend that right knee, plant the left hand down, and then you're gonna twist open towards your right. See how the space in your hips and shoulders are feeling. Take a nice deep inhale there. You're gonna press all the way over. Same thing, opposite side. Right hand raise right shoulder, then we twist open towards the left. Breathe. Then we're gonna come all the way back to center. Draw the heels back underneath the hips, and then you're gonna roll up to that side. One vertebrae at a time, getting a little bit taller. So let's warm up the legs with the arms. Keep your deep hip distance apart. And take a nice deep inhale as we sit back towards the heels. And as you drive the heels, squeeze the bum. We got 30 seconds of body weight squats to warm up those legs. And from now at the end of the class, every time you press in those heels, all I want you to do is think of squeeze the bum. Glutes, great big strong muscles, but they're lazy. 15 seconds left, and we're gonna focus on warming up through the shoulders, spine, and core. Maybe we're still just warming up here. Wanna right? get the blood flowing? And breathe. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, rest. Shake that off. We're gonna do some inchworm that we're gonna turn into a plank. So you take a nice deep inhale, wash up your lip pictures. And then as you exhale, you're gonna peel all the way down one vertebrae at a time. Hands on the ground, and you're gonna walk yourself into a plank. We're gonna come all the way down to the forearms. Press yourself back into the hands. Walk the hands towards the feet, and then peel all the way back up. We're gonna do that for a full 60 seconds. As 
as you peel up and down, get a little bit longer, taller, and stronger. As you come down to your plank, connect those forearms, press yourself back into the hands, walk those hands back towards your feet. Now we've got 30 more seconds like this, and we hang out there and we hold that plank. Now as you peel up and down, that's fine. Notice how it's feeling, moving. If we're feeling anything sore or stiff today, let's make sure we warm up those areas before we start doing anything too crazy. Now this next one we're going to hold. So as you walk down into that plank, we can always hold our plank from our hands. The knees can come down or we're in that full plank position. 30 seconds here. Breathe. I want to remember it's 30 seconds of your 24 hours. You're pushing energy into your arms. You're squeezing your butt like crazy and send energy up to those heels. 15 seconds left. Breathe. Just hang in there. I think we normally don't even notice. 15 seconds out of our day. In eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good rest. Shake that out. Breathe. So we've got a pyramid little structure we're going to do. So we're going to do squats and plank push ups back and forth, back and forth. Then we focus on arms, abs, and legs. So first, let's combine them. We're still just kind of warming up. We got 40 seconds of squats. 40 seconds of forearm push-ups, 30, 20, boom, we move on. So, do you remember this is the part? 40 seconds of squats in five, four, three, two, one. So you want to send the weight towards the heels and squeeze the bump every single time you straighten those legs. Breathe, and then get a little bit taller through that side as you do. Now, if the shoulders are feeling okay, as you sit back towards the heels, reach the arms forward, and then squeeze the orange and make the armpits to reset even taller. Almost like you're reaching to the opposite side of the room. But don't let those shoulders come up towards the ears. Let them glide down the back. We've got 22 more seconds, but think, after this, everything's gonna get shorter. This is our only 40 second set. Everything today after this is 30 seconds or less. In 10, eight, in six, five, four, Three, two, one, good, rest, shake it off. I'll fix the music in a second. But we got 40 seconds of forearm push-ups. So we're coming down into your mat. So you can be in this tabletop position as you come down to the forearms and press yourself up, or you're in that full plank position. Then it's 20 seconds on each side in five, four, three, two, one. So as we come down and up, try to keep your hips as stable as possible. You don't want those hips rocking from one side to the other. And I want you to feel like you're pushing your hands into the ground. Breathe. You're one long line. Now it seems easy and it looks easy, but we're pushing our entire body weight up and down. So it's a lot more challenging than it is. Don't feel like you have to squeeze in as many as you can. I want you to go at a pace that feels comfortable. Now we're already more than halfway. we got 15 seconds left. And this set only gets shorter in 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Rest. Now come back up to standing. We got 30 seconds of squats and then 30 seconds of our forearm push ups. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Look at this. We're still just kind of warming up. We're warming up the legs a little bit more, getting the heart rate a little bit higher because we're going back and forth between the legs and upper body. 20 more seconds. Notice what's working. Is the front of the legs or can you get the bum to squeeze? In 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You shake that off. Now we got 30 seconds of those forearm push-ups. Second last round, and we don't do them again. In five, four, three, two, one. Now the thing is, you did them for the 40 seconds, so you know you can do it. Think, this is only 30 seconds, it's a little bit shorter. Breathe, use the legs. You're pulling up on the kneecaps, squeezing the bottom, guess what, you're already happy there. You have 15 seconds left. So today, I want you to push through what feels uncomfortable, because it's challenging but not through something that's painful. If it's difficult, great, push past that, and pain, stop. For five, four, three, two, one, good rest. We got one more round of each, 20 seconds, we switch it up and grab some water and shake it off. 
Last 20 seconds of squats. Last 20 seconds of forearm push-ups. In five, four, three, two. The line switch, sweep that bum back, press up. Now it's half the amount of time we started. So again, you know you can do it. You just get a little bit more challenging as the get gets higher. In 12, 10, you get a little bit taller as you stand up, but try not to hit your lighting fixtures. In five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake that off. Last 20 seconds down the ground. We'll have a water break, we'll hang out after, but first, 20 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. When you really think about it, think as if it's 10 seconds on each arm. Push that hand right into the shoulder like you're pushing the ground away. And you've got 10 seconds left. Can you just squeeze in one more on each side? For six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Rest. Bring those knees down. Keep the bum back to the back. Grab some water. Breathe. So now our warm up is done. We're going to focus on the arms for two rounds. Shake it up with some cardio. Lay down, do some core, and today we finish off. It's all leg work. So here's where you're going to want to bring in your chair. Like I said earlier, if you want a sturdy chair, you don't want a chair with wheels on it. I don't want anybody falling. Everything after this now is going to be 30 seconds. We're going to start off with some decline plank taps. Know that anything is decline can just be down the ground. So what that means is we're going to have the tips of our toes on our chair. So if that doesn't feel comfortable, Place the feet down the ground. No big deal. Whatever one feels best for you today, that's what I want you to do. We're going to do deep plank plank taps for 30 seconds. So if the feet are up, ready to stop, no big deal. In five, four, three, two, one. So you're going to tap one hand to one shoulder, then the other. But I want you to feel squeeze the bum and try to keep the hips as steady as you can. Breathe. I think this is more slow and controlled as it's just as much core as it is upper body. 15 seconds. Knowing that you can do those plank push-ups for 40. In 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good rest. Safe with you your chair. Now we're going to work on those triceps. So, palms of the hands heavy on the seat. The legs can be bent or straight, depending on how much. We're not sitting in the shoulders, so push energy down with the hands. We're going to bend and straighten the elbows for 30 seconds. In five, four, three, two. Once the elbows down behind you, push energy into the hands. Keep the neck nice and easy. The neck should always be able to move. Now, triceps are a small group of muscles. <laughs> they don't like working out on their own. So really pull the belly button in and glide those shoulder blades down. We're 10 seconds in, that means we got 20 seconds left. Breathe. In 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, rest. Now again, place your chair to the side for a second. We're going to come down. We got 30 seconds of side place on each side. So we can be down on our elbows. The knees can be bent as we lift the hips, or the legs can be straight. 30 seconds on each side, we're going to lift those hips up and down. Elbow right underneath the shoulder. In three, two, one. So I'm pushing energy into my elbow down the ground. I want you to feel like you're lifting up from the side of the waist. You can reach that opposite hand up if it feels comfortable, so don't feel like you have to. Now it's a lot of core, it's also a lot of shoulder. Make sure your neck is feeling nice and easy and we're not feeling this in the neck. Breathe. Think in less than two minutes, we need to get a nice full break. And we're only doing everything twice today. In 10, push through what feels uncomfortable. Remember, it's only a temporary feeling. I promise you it's going to stop when it's over. In five, four, three, two, one. Good. Rest. So we're going to do the same thing. Opposite side. Knees can be down, legs can be straight. Do what you got to do. 30 seconds in five, four, three, two, one. So feel like we're pulling up from the side of the waist. Like I have a belt wrapped around the waist, and then pulling it up towards the ceiling. Send that energy to those heels. Get longer through the legs. Make sure they're engaged. Let them help hold you up there. So it's not like we're holding dead weight. 
We've got 15 more seconds and one more upper body exercise. So breathe. In 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good rest. Next, we got one more exercise. We're going to be down on our bellies. And it's going to be an upper body exercise. So coming all the way down into your mat, you're going to plug your elbows in towards your sides. Forehead and shoulders are going to come to a hover. Then as you inhale, we're going to reach the arms up overhead. Then as you exhale, you glide the elbows into your back pocket. Now if it really bothers your neck and lower back, you can always bring the head down. But try to squeeze the shoulder blades down and away, and then reach them overhead. So one of the ones that starts off nice and easy. There's a lot of shoulder work, there's a lot of upper body work just to hold the body in this position. Breathe. And that's the most important part. So I'm trying to hold your breath. We've got 15 seconds left. And then we shake it out and start everything over one more time. Breathe. In 10. 8. 6. 5. 4. Three, two, one, good, rest. Press yourself from all the way back up. We do each one of those exercises one more time, but then our upper body strength portion is done. We shake out with carbon mass. So grab some water if you need it. Super hot, my carbon, I don't know about yours. We have some plain taps, 30 more seconds, and they're done. So you can be down on your chair or just down the ground again, whatever feels best. In 10, Doing that kind of swimming exercise. 
Forehead can be down, or lift again, depending on how it feels. Elbows hug into the side of your waist. You reach the hands up overhead, and then squeeze those elbows down. Breathe. Like I said, it's a lot of upper body work, just to hold the body up there. So modify if that's necessary, you want to bring the head down. Keep squeezing the shoulders down out of the ears. Don't let those shoulders creep up. The neck should be long and easy. Last 15. In 12. 10. 8. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Good rest. Press yourself back up to standing. Grab some water if you need it. If you need to move your chair for some more space, move your chair. So up next, we're going to do some cardio. We're going to shake up those arms. Now, cardio is always an option. Do what feels best depending on where you live. Maybe it's a lot for the neighbors downstairs. But we're going to do Tabata style timing. 20 seconds of hard work, 10 second rest, two rounds, that's it. So they get just over two minutes out of your day and then we slow it down. We're gonna lay down and do core work after this. So I don't know about any injuries, but if you have any modified, my suggestions, we're gonna do jumping jacks, jump squats, burpees, and mountain climbers. Two rounds, that's it, we move on, we forget about it, didn't happen, we do core work. So no way, you're gonna lay down. Let's just get the heart rate, shake up the arms, no big deal. Watch out for any furniture. 20 seconds of jumping jacks in five, Four, three, two, one. So again, let's get our feet nice and easy. Shake out all that kind of heavy feeling from working them out. And then 20 seconds of your 24 hours, and this is done. Breathe. In, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, get that nice 10 second rest. We're gonna do some jump squats. If you need to, do quick air squats. We have the injuries. No big deal. In five, four, three, two, one. And then you sit in your chair. Ooh, you sat on something, get right back up. That's a big explosive action. Make sure you're squeezing the bum to get yourself up there. So let those heels be heavy. In eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake that off. Up next, a couple of burpees, or again, modify, going back to jumping jacks. If you have a lower back injury, the injury, switch it up. In eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. So you jump up nice and tall, you come back into a plank pose, we fall all the way back up. Now again, it's a nice high explosive action. You can line up your ceiling, and then you like fixtures. Ten more seconds. I know it's not fun, it's not easy, but we're gonna do it down in five, four, three, two, one, good rest. To finish off this first round, a couple of down climbers or down. Modify, do what you gotta do. Hands are in that plank position, so like you're holding a plank here in the high knees. In three, two, one. So drive the knees up, push the hands into the ground. 20 seconds of your day. I know you can do it. You know you can do it. Let's finish it off. In eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good rest. Shake that off. We do everything one more time, and then we lay down and do core work. It's so hard to do jump squats and burpees and talk. It's quite different cardio. Last round, jumping jacks, and they're done. In five, four, three, two, one. Think. What is it? 80 seconds, and we lay down for core. Less than two minutes. By this time tomorrow, we're not even going to remember. Maybe you have to sit all day and work all day. And this is really the only time we have to shake it all out and get that heart rate up. So I don't feel good for right now, but we're done. In three, two, one. Good. Shake that off. Jump squats. We're again, switch it up. A little bit of leg. Shake out those arms. In five, four, Three, two, one. We sat in our chair, we squeeze the bum to hop right out. Take a nice soft landing, heel to toe. Breathe. Now it's a lot of the legs. It feels nice and easy at first, then the legs get heavier and heavier, but I promise that's just a feeling that's gonna go in. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Woo. 40 seconds left. Burpees, mountain climbers, lay down, core. So, less than a minute to go in five, four, three, two, one. Now, nice and energetic. Can you finish this off? Stronger than when you started. Knowing that tired feeling is just a feeling that's going to go away in 10. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Last round. Now, climbers. Full rest. Core break. And water break. Last round is sitting up. In four, three, two, one. So, shoulders are on top of wrist. Belly button is slide. And when I feel like trying to get those knees up towards the armpits. In 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest. Woo. Breathe. Grab some water. Awesome job, you guys. First cardio round of the day is over. We got one more to talk about, but that's coming up later. So, warm up is done. Arms are done. Cardio round one is done. We're going to lay down, do some core work. So, we have we have to lay down, and then we're going to pop back up to finish our last cardio round and legs. I'm going to move the mat a little bit closer so you guys can see me for core work. All right, so all I want to do for core is make sure you're breathing and modify as necessary. So we're going to come all the way down to laying down. First option, we're just going to do some crunches, and we're going to keep adding on some more challenges from there. So first option, feet can be down, or we stack those knees right on top of the hips. Your elbows are in your peripheral vision, hands are heavy, or head is heavy in your hands. Take a nice deep inhale for the next three seconds. We crunch. Now I wish I could hear that nice big exhale. The more you breathe, the more you engage your core. I know sometimes in a class you might feel silly for breathing that loud, but I promise you, your diaphragm, that big parachute muscle that moves your lungs up and down, is connected to your core. So the more you breathe, the more you engage that core. Now we have 15 seconds left, and we're going to add in that right leg. In 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now the knee and the head reach away and then come back in. So right knee reaches and hold it. Now that right leg can be bent or straight. So head and toe lengthen, knee to nose. Now you're trying to keep that left side as steady as you can. Breathe. This side has got 12 more seconds. And then we're going to turn to a single leg bicycle and do opposite elbow. Opposite knee. In five, four, three, two, one. Now we reach away, but aim left elbow, right knee. Think opposite rib, opposite hip bone. And at any point, you can place that left leg down if it's not already. I don't want anybody feeling this in their lower back or their neck. Last ten. Draw knees to nose. 
not going to happen exactly, but I just want to show you how gain any weight. And then pull everything back in. Ten more seconds. We're going to add in that half vice pin with our twist. We're going to go right elbow, left knee in five, four, three, two, one. I'm lengthen away. Right elbow, left knee. Right kind of thing. Opposite move, opposite hip. Less than 30 seconds left. Breathe. 15. In 12. 10. 8. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Good. Rest for a second. Have good knees and towards the chest. We're not done our core yet. We got two more exercises down here. Breathe. So that was a lot of upper core. Let's get those lower abdominals a little bit more. So, hands are just going to be down by our sides. Knees are going to be stacked on top of the hips, or the legs can be straight. So we're going to reach either the knees away or the legs away. If you want a little bit more support for the lower back, you can have the bum supported by the hips. So as we inhale, we're going to sweep away. And as we exhale, grabbing back again. Knees can be bent. So I want you to notice what is that rib cage doing? Move your bra strap down to the ground. I don't want the rib cage lifting off because then our lower back is doing the work. Now the goal is to get the legs towards the ground. I think the goal is to keep that lower back nice and easy and the ribs heavy. Breathe. We have 15 more seconds. In 10, 8, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Now knees at their best, straighten them. We're gonna reach to those heels. In three, two, one. Nice big exhale. Now if you feel like you're pulling from the chin, place the hands behind the head. And feel like you're reaching more from the armpits. Don't pull from the neck. We've got 20 more seconds. And then we're gonna turn these into bicycles. In 12. 10, 8, 6, make sure you're breathing, hang in there, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we are going to go opposite elbow, opposite knee, now I know you're feeling that fun burning core sensation, but breathe through it, thinking the core is the center of your body, we want that area to be as strong as possible, breathe, and I know at some point, we're going to be back to our normal lives, Going out to concerts. It's almost summer. Breathe. In 15 more seconds, I promise we'll give your core a break. In 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Draw the knees in towards the chest for a second. Breathe. We got one little core exercise left. And we're going to pop up and do our second round of cardio. And after that, it's all leg work. So, for this one, we're going to stick to one side at a time. Now again, you can do knee to elbow. You can do hand to foot. Whatever feels best. Both legs can be straight. Whatever feels good. But we're going to stick to one side for 30 seconds. Then the other. I like to have the opposite knee bend. I don't know why. It's just what I like to do. So do what feels best. Again, yeah, you need the elbow. So let's move left leg, right arm. In three, two, one. Again, we're going back to like a single leg bicycle. And I want to feel like you're reaching all the way over to the opposite side of the rail. Like you could touch the wall on the other side. And breathe. Think each side of your body has 30 seconds left. So we're just going to get it up to the core. In 12, 10. Eight, make sure you're breathing. In five, four, three, two, one. Now that side's done. Same thing, opposite side. In four, three, two, one. I feel like you're reaching. Moving past something a little bit heavier than the air around you. Like we're swimming through water. Then opposite rib, opposite hip bone. We got 15 seconds. I think we're not going to do another crunch again. We're not going to do another plank. It's going to be over. It's going to be legs and core. In 10, 8, 6, 
five, four more, three, two, one, good, rest, breathe, hug those knees in for a second, and grab some water if you need it, you're going to rearrange that mat so I don't hit the ceiling again, so arms are done, core is done, we got a little bit of cardio and a little bit of leg left. So, we're going to do the cardio first. We're just laying down for so long. Let's get the blood flowing again. And then we finish off with our legs. So, just like before, cardio, think of it as options. 20 seconds, 4 rounds, 10 second rest in between. Now, this time I'm going to suggest jumping jacks in and out jump squats. We're going to put the inner thighs in and out. Furbies again. And then plank jumping jacks. Do what I do what you gotta do, think less than a minute left of each exercise, then the cardio is done for the day. So last time, jumping jacks, just think as a shake out, you have to shake it all out, no big deal. In five, four, three, two, one. It's amazing how many times I've hit this man, should I? But it's, it's a lot lighter than it looks, so don't worry. And probably annoying my neighbors downstairs as well, but yeah, girls gotta get their cardio. In 10, eight, Five, four, three, two, one. Good rest. Now we're gonna do some in and out jump squats if that feels good, or we can just do wide squats. Twenty seconds. Let's get those legs warmed up for the next round. In three, two, one. So bring the heels nice and wide. Pull those heels back together. Squeeze the bum. Now don't let those knees cave in. Want those knees nice and long. Pull the inner thighs in like there's magnets there. You want to pull them back together. In eight more seconds. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Rest. 20 seconds of burpees or modify. Second last round of the day. Yes, I do really love burpees. Don't worry about it. Five, four, three, two, one. So jump up nice and tall. And then it's like we're coming into a plank pose. Push the hands around. Squeeze the bum to send those heels back. And breathe. When your brain tells you to slow down or stop because it's challenging, Push past that for five, four, three, two, one. We can go back to mouth renders, or we're going to do plank jumping jacks. We're holding a plank with the upper body, jumping jacks with the legs. In four, three, two, one. So your shoulders and wrists are one long line. Push those hands to the ground. Pop the legs in and out. Breathe. Pull the belly button in so not sinking into the lower back. In six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, rest. One round done. This is your last cardio round for the day. Make it the best. Last round of jumping backs. In five, four, three, two, one. Last round. Again, 20 seconds. How often does 20 seconds pass? You don't even notice. It's so short. So breathe. In 10. Grab some. 
some water, and it's all legs after this. Let it for a third down. Arms, abs, bonus cardio, and then it's legs. So we're gonna want our chair again if we have it. Don't worry if you don't. So we've got legs, squats, step ups, some bum lifts, all legs. So first 30 seconds, just like the upper body, four different exercises, two rounds, and then we're back down on the ground. So we're gonna do some squats, but I really want you to focus on setting your bum all the way back down towards the chair and then standing back up. So feet are about to distance apart in five, four, three, two, one. So let that bum tap down, squeeze a little, stand back up. Now we all have one glute that's a little bit lazier than the other. And then when we get into our single leg work, we're gonna find out which one that is. But for now, they go as even as you can. Notice what's working. A lot of us are very quad dominant. Sometimes my right glute doesn't work at all. 15 more seconds. Can you get taller as you stand back to straight? In 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake that off. I'm gonna move this a little bit more to frame. <laughs> so we're gonna do some single leg step ups. We'll be stepping on your chair, swing the bum. Watch out for any ceiling fixtures. If they don't, knock your head, pass out. I'm gonna stick to the right side, then the left. Now let's figure out which one of our glutes is lazier than the other. In five, four, three, two. One's like about squeezing the bum to stand all the way up. Ooh, that's a close call with that ceiling. I'm not even that tall, I just feel like the ceiling's a little bit short. So this is also a balance challenge. Try to keep those knees in line with the toes. And like I said, all we're trying to do is notice what's working. Is it the quad, or can you get your glutes to fire? Some days they work, some days they don't. Some days one side works better than the other. We're not judging, we're just feeling. In 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake up that right leg. Same thing, left side. Now I know my left leg is a lot lazier than my right. In three, two, one. Now just know, you can always feel balanced as well. That's also always an option. But usually, we tend to favor one side. This side may be a little bit harder to balance. Maybe it's easier to balance. This side, for me, is way harder to balance. 15 left. Breathe. In 12. <laughs> 10. 8. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Good. Rest. Now we're going to be laying down to do some bum lifts. So the option is we can have our heels on our chair. That ball is that hand swings. The heels can be down the ground. And this will be lifting and squeezing the bum. So whatever feels best, heels are heavy on the chair on the ground. In four, three, two, one. Now try to get the bum to lift the hips. But if you're on the chair, it's also a little bit of hamstrings. So don't worry if you're feeling it there. Just don't let them take over and get crampy. Upper bodies, relaxed. Yeah, breathe, no big deal. In 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, rest. Now we're going to come back up to standing. <laughs> just like a roll like I just did. Now here's where you're going to want something slippery. If you have it, if not, you're going to do a side lunge. You're just going to tap to the side and pull back in. If you have something slippery, you're just going to slip it out. So let's have that slippery thing on our right foot. It might be here. I'm honestly not sure. It's so hard not to see you guys. 30 seconds on each leg, a little bit of a side lunge. In four, three, two, one. Then you have five minutes left of hard work. So sit back towards that heel, pull in the inner thighs. Then you can ripple your floorboards right to you with the power of the inner thighs. Upper bodies, nice and easy. You're trying to keep that knee nice and high to hip. Don't let it switch back and forth. It might try to. No big deal, but we're trying to keep it nice and high. 15 seconds left. Now this side might feel again easy. Maybe it's challenging. In six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Good. Shake that off. Same thing. All six up. In five, four, three, two, one. Heel goes out. Pull it back in. Now notice what's working there. Is it front of the leg? Can we get those glutes to fire? Think. No more burpees. No more core. Upper body's done. But for now, let's just focus on those legs because that's it. In 12, hang in there. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it up. One more round of each. And then you guys, we lay back down for our last little bit of legs. So we're going to be sinking back towards the chair again. 30 seconds of squat, so make sure that bum taps down. And head on the height of the chair. It's going to be easier, it be harder. In five, four, three, two, one. We've got five minutes of hard work left. And then I'll be doing a stretch. We've already been working out for 45 minutes. And I don't give you guys a lot of time to rest. I think most of us are confined to sitting in our houses for the most part. So we've been resting all day. Breathe. Now are we feeling more even to our squats, or does one side feel still a little bit stronger? 15 left. In 12, this is our last round of squats of the day. Looking for the best. In 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good, shake that off. Last round of step ups. Okay, 92. Readjust. <laughs> right side, left side, no big deal. In five, four, three, two, one. It's about activating the bone to stand up a little bit taller and let it go. Sometimes you might not feel the bone working. Yeah, that's okay. It's a little bit of balance. Feel like you're pushing the hair in the head. <laughs> feel like you're pushing the heel into the chair. And in turn, you're also trying to reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And breathe. 15 seconds, balance. It's really hard to talk, try to balance on one leg. But we're here, guys. We're doing it. In five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it off. Same thing, left side. You shake everything out. In five, four, three, two, one. Again, we got less. Then five minutes of work here. Do you remember the first five minutes? Do you remember how that cardio felt? We push through that. Let's push through this. 15 seconds. Less than two minutes of hard work. In 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, rest. We lay down, we lift the bone, we come back down. Heels on the chair, heels on the floor, do what feels best. Last 30 seconds, using both legs. In five, four, three, two, one. Drive the heels, squeeze the bum, and set hips. Now again, hamstrings might be working, don't let them get crampy. And you should be able to see your knee that we push your rib cage so far forward. If it's more legs, 15 seconds. In 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good rest. Shake that off. We come back up to standing. We double check the time. All right, we got it. Come back up to standing. We got our single leg. Side legs. 30 seconds on each side. A little wider on that right side, or we step it out. In three, two, one. So sink back towards the heel. Pull, squeeze in. We've been live for 45 minutes of working hard and 50 minutes overall. So breathe. This is your last 30 seconds on this leg. We're going to tag on a little 10 second pulse at the end. So I lied. It's really 40 seconds. But don't worry about it, we got 10 seconds left before we hold. In five, four, three, two, one. Now hold that leg out. We pulse for 10. Sit a little bit back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good rest. Same thing opposite side. Those legs are done. 
on 40 seconds in three, two, one. Don't even think about it. Just finish off that second leg. Just as strong as the first. Keep those knees nice and alive. Breathe. 20 seconds left. And we hold and we pulse. 15. Goes by so quickly. In 12. 10. 8. In 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. Now you hold the last 10. Push through it. It is the very last. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake that leg out. Breathe. Shake those legs out. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Grab some water. Now, before the live stream taps out, I'm going to end it, but I'm going to come back so I can stretch you guys out or else I won't be able to save it. So, give me one second. I'll be right back just so I can save it for all the people because I did start late. Technical difficulties. How do I save it is the real question. 